proceed to the next one, let's convert polar equation to rectangular equation and also vice versa. What is the meaning of polar equation? Meaning that you have an equation which contains r and theta. And when you want to change to rectangular equation, meaning that you want an equation containing x and y only. Okay, how about vice versa? Meaning that when you have rectangular equation, you want to get rid of x and y and you want to make sure that your equation only containing r and theta. Now let's see example 6, transform the polar equation to rectangular equation. So obviously this is polar equation because you have r and also theta. So let's rearrange this until we get rectangular equation. So let's open up, cosecant is just 1 over sine theta. And then let's cross multiply here. So you get r sine theta equal to 6. So now let's convert because we know r sine theta is equal to y. Therefore, the final answer is y equal to 6. So now we have a rectangular equation of a horizontal line y equal to 6. Now let's see example 7. Transform rectangular equation 2xy is equal to 3 into polar equation. So obviously this is rectangular equation because you have x and y. So let's substitute 2 x is r cos theta y is r sine theta equal to 3. So now let's rearrange r and r is just r squared and then you are left with 2 cos theta sine theta. So from the previous chapter we know that 2 cos theta sine theta is just sine 2 theta okay double angle so let's just substitute this here. Therefore, this is your final answer. This is polar equation r squared sine 2 theta is equal to 3. So let's go to the last example here. Find the radius r of the circle. Okay, so this is the equation given. So actually, this is a polar equation because you have r and theta. So the question asks us to find radius r of the circle. So here, you need to know first what is the equation of circle. Okay, so this is the equation of circle where you have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equal to r squared. So what is hk? hk is actually the center of the circle. Okay, you can read hk as the center. And what is r here? r here is the radius. Okay, so the number on your right hand side is actually r squared. So in order to find radius, you need to square root the number. Apart from knowing the equation of circle, you also need to know how to do completing the square in the quadratic equation. Okay, I have another video for this. I've put the link in the description below so you can refer to it. Okay, so if you have settled on that, let us straight away start with this example here. Yeah. R equal to 16 cos theta plus 12 sine theta. So we know that we have the equation for r cos theta and r sine theta, but you are lacking of r here. So let's straight away multiply both sides here with r. So you have r squared equal to 16 r cos theta plus 12 r sine theta. Because we multiply r inside here. So now we know that r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. So let's substitute r cos theta is x, r sine theta is y. So now everything here is now in rectangular equation because you have x and y. So let us proceed with completing the square. Let's bring all the x on one side plus and then in another bracket is all the y variables. And if you have number, put it on the right hand side. But now our number is just 0. So now let's complete the square for this one. You'll get x minus 8 squared minus 64 plus Complete the square for this, you'll get y minus 6 squared minus 36 equal to 0. So let's put all the completed square here. And let's put all of the numbers to the other side here. So now let's compare our equation with whatever we have. This is our h, our k, and this is our r squared. So now let's write our center. This is 8, 6. And then let's write our radius. r squared is 100. So r is square root of 100, therefore your r now is equal to 10. So this is our final answer. So that's the end of 2.1. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.